Hello all, so in last video we saw how can we create a simple Excel Power Pivot report for our data analysis and we had created this report for that. Now in this video we are going to recreate this report but using Power BI desktop. So I have opened this Power BI desktop here and since my database or my tables dimension facts are in SQL Server database, I will select import data from SQL Server menu. I will specify my server details, local host and database as data warehouse. I'm going to import those tables. So I will keep this import tab selected. I will select my tables now on which I'm going to do the reporting. So I'm going to select all dimension tables and a single fact table click on load so let's go back to our steps so once you select your tables you have to define the relationship among those tables so now i will tell you why power bi modeling is more intelligent than power pivot or even uh, sss multi-dimensional cube let all tables get imported first it's creating a model, creating connection in model. Over here, you get to see three different tabs. The very first tab is report, second is data, and last tab is model. So once all these tables gets imported, we'll go to this last tab to define the relationship among those imported tables. Okay, tables got loaded. All right, let's go to this model tab. Now, as you can see here, the relationship is already defined. Okay, how it got defined based on the column names, which we have defined between dimension and fact, and also along with the data. So as you can see here, the relationship between fact HR and employee dimension is one to one. We don't need that way. I will change that to one to many. Perfect, and I will change this filter as well, direction to single. So what this single or bi-directional filter means, if I filter out data in employees table, that will filter data in fact table as well, but not the other way, okay? So it's in the single way. Another thing is that, do you see the difference between these two relationships? So this is dotted lines. What this means is if I double click that, it's not active. So there is an option called make it active. I will keep it as is. I will tell you why this is important. And we really don't need uh, any relationship between employees and managers table. So I will remove this. Another thing which we did last time was we added another dimension table in order to join that along with our uh, manager dimension. So let me rename this dimension first. So I will change this to Okay, I will, I need to rename that from my data tab. So right click and rename. So date dimension and I will give this as employees. Let me go back to my model tab. And let me drag this guy here. And higher date will go into calendar date. Sorry, date dimension key. Simply drag this guy. That relationship has to be one to many. One to many, perfect. Let me import another date dimension, SQL Server. SQL host, DW. Perfect. Let me define the relationship now. And this I need to join along with manager dimension. Higher date will go into date dimension key.
perfect now another thing which we did last okay let me change this relationship from one to one to one to many and remember this relationship is still inactive we need to make that active and let me change this filter as well don't this single okay another thing which we did is we combined this first name and last name for both employees and uh, uh, manager dimension to full name concatenated base basically so i will for that i will again go back to let's go back to our report tab and uh, since we need to concatenate first name last name in employees as well as manager dimension i will choose this employee dimension right click new column we are basically creating derived column i'll rename this to full name same thing which we did last time and i will use excel function concatenate i will select the first name comma space again concatenate last name perfect we'll do the same thing for manager dimension uh, right click new column full name concatenate first name from manager dimension concatenate last name from manager dimension perfect another thing we have to define a hierarchy among our date dimensions so i need to rename this first so let me rename this to managers okay and i will define the date hierarchy so at very top has to be the year it's very simple uh, right click on your column create new hierarchy once the hierarchy is cre created just again right click on the respective columns so after year i will add quarter description add to hierarchy after quarter i will select year month right click add to hierarchy and finally the calendar date right click add to hierarchy so we have created a date hierarchy in uh, employees the employees date dimension we will replicate the same in manager state dimension right click new hierarchy after year we have to add quarter add to hierarchy after that year month and finally the calendar date okay so we also created date hierarchies the last thing so if we go back the very last thing is attributes which are not needed we just had need to hide those attributes it will be easy for reporting purpose for end user so i will select these and even the dimension key surrogate key hide from report here updated on created on and location keep the location id that's fine this location dimension key hide from report updated on created on dimension key hide report view created on updated on 
extension key right click hide in report view perfect the last dimension created on updated on right click hide in report view and we'll hide attributes from fact table as well so we need don't need all these keys and update it on right click hide from report okay uh, so we did everything except this inactive relationship we'll see we'll get to this later let's start creating a report first so i will select the basic visual or even if you don't select it by default it will be a, a table table view what i will do i will select so very first column which i need to select is job id and job title so you can search if you want and i will select job id job title and i need only those employees under it department so i will add the filter here so in the filter tab just select it programmer perfect let me expand this and let me maximize this so values and i will increase this font size to 15 and i will increase the header value as well perfect okay this is much better after that i need to add full name so this is manager as of now we'll skip this one uh, after that year hierarchy this is for employees so what i will do let me delete this guy and i will choose the hierarchy okay after hierarchy after uh, i will have employees full name employee id now here the employee id is by default it got uh, used as summation now we don't need that summed value so i what i will do go to my visualizations and i will select this as don't summarize perfect now i got to see actual employee id and finally the email and salary so let me go back employee email and in my fact table i will get salary 4400 okay uh, 44800 okay uh, 44800 now the difference is let's change this to dollar sign so i will go to my data tab and i will select fact table select the salary and this is some aggregated and i will select uh, format as currency i will select that as english us dollars decimal spaces i don't need or i will change this to zero okay now let me go back to my report tab perfect okay now only last thing let me reduce this a bit it's not or let me expand this guy yeah now the last thing which is still remaining is we haven't added my uh uh corresponding manager's name so let's add that now and let's see what happens so i'll go back i will choose uh, managers and i will add full name so it's crying now it failed now why it failed so let's click on this details can't display data relationship between two or more fields it can't determine the relationship now why is that reason being that relationship is inactive so let's double click and make it active
Okay. And now see that manager data is available now. So I will just arrange that data. So I will move this full name. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let me reduce the font so that it will be arranged in a single table. This horizontal scroll bar I don't need. So I will go to visualization tab and I will reduce the font a bit. So column headers will make it to 13 per 13. And I'll change this value as well to 13. I can change this style as well. So let's say flashy rose. All right, perfect. Okay, so this is exactly same what you are seeing here. Okay, thank you for watching this video.